If you're thinking about switching from the free WordPress.com to a self-hosted WordPress blog, you're probably wondering how to transfer your blog post over. In this video, we will be showing you how to transfer your blog from free WordPress to self-hosted. Let's get started! Here we are over at the free WordPress.com site that I created. It only has one post, just to make this simple and it's about optimizing your blog for search engines. And as you can see, there's one image at the top and there's two other images. One is for free affiliate marketing training and the other one is for SiteGround web hosting, which is my favorite. And if you don't have your self-hosting yet, go to lisajared.com forward slash web host. We are gonna export the blog posts from this free wordpress.com into the new self-hosted WordPress. Go to My Sites up in the upper left. In the menu bar on the left side, scroll all the way down to Settings and click. On the right hand side, you have a number of different features. Scroll all the way down and click Export. You're going to be exporting the content from your site. And these are going to be all of your blog posts, all of your pages, and all of your attachments, which simply means all the images that are embedded into your blog post. Click export. We want to export everything. You can also be very specific about what you want to export, but if you have posts and pages and different dates and different authors and you want everything, we're just going to export all for today. Your export was successful. A download link has also been sent to, to your email. You can also just click download right here. When you click download, it's going to download the file to your hard drive. I use a Windows box, so all I have to do is click extract all files because the file that you downloaded is a zip file, so it's compressed. So whatever computing platform you're using, make sure that you go ahead and extract the files. Once you extract the files, you're going to see a file folder double click the file folder and there's going to be an XML file inside of there. In this XML file are all of your blog posts, whether they be pages or blog posts, all of your attachments, which are the images. You're also going to be carrying over all of your categories as well as any tags. Let's head over to the self-hosted WordPress blog and find out how to import all of these blog posts. Now that you downloaded the XML file from your free WordPress.com blog, go over to your dashboard for your self-hosted WordPress blog. On the left-hand menu, click Tools and then select Import. From the Import page, choose WordPress. From the Import WordPress page, click Choose File. Navigate to the file folder that contains the XML file that you downloaded from your free WordPress site. And here's my file. You can see it has the XML extension. Click to select it and select Open. Next to Choose File, there's the name of the file that I just selected to upload. Click Upload File and Import. On the Import WordPress page, you get to assign authors. You can either import the original author name from the free WordPress site. You can create a new username with a login, or you can assign posts to an existing user. I'm going to assign posts to the existing user of this WordPress blog, and that name is Savvy. Under Import Attachments, select Download and Import File Attachments. These are your images. Click Submit when you're happy with your selections here. All done, have fun. You also get a little report here. Apparently there was a Hello World <laughs> post on the free WordPress site that I didn't delete and it already exists on this site. There's also an About page on the free WordPress site that I also have on this site. So that already exists. Let's check out what was imported to this blog. Go to Post and All Posts. And here's the blog post that I imported from the free WordPress.com over to my self-hosted blog. And you can see here everything is intact. And let's just take a look at the post. Click View Post. And there it is. Everything came over just fine, including my links. That's how simple it is for you to transfer all of your blog posts from your free WordPress.com site to your self-hosted site. If you don't have your self-hosted website yet, I highly recommend that you follow my link. 
lisajared.com forward slash web host to my favorite web hosting company. If you have questions, leave them in the comments or visit my website, lisajared.com and send me an email. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. I hope you got some value and learned how to transfer your blog from the free version of WordPress over to self-hosted. If you want more great information about blogging, head over to my website at lisajarrett.com, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.